my advice to Nicole is to get a divorce. You can find somebody that has the same views as you. You see, it's a joke for them. You know Mahmoud well. You tell him change, change what? First of all, how many times did Mahmoud ask for, ask for a divorce? Reply my question. Don't ask me another question. He has qualities to change. I ask if... you now. Listen to me. It's difficult here, too. I would be there right now if financially we could live, but we can't. You know, it kills me because I don't think you realize just how bad this is for me. I don't enjoy this at all. I want to be there just as much as you want me there. But I'm having to work here because I can work here. The money is more important for her life. Okay. The I money, you, you like eating, and you having a roof over your head, and you're talking about money's more important to me. If money was important to me, I would be spending the money on myself. But I spend every dime sending money to you. Every penny I make goes to you. Every time I talk to you, this is what you're doing. You know, nothing's ever enough. So why would I want okay. to talk to you? You tell me bitch all the time. Because that's what you're doing, bitching. Everything I do is never enough for you. I'm done with this conversation. This is the big problem with her. All the time, I'm trying to talk to her. And this, is, this is her reaction. Wow. Chris? What are you thinking right now? I just wanted her to acknowledge that everything I was doing was for her. That if, if I had the money, I would have left right away and I would have been there. And you worked so hard, constantly working, working, working. But did we see Jamie working and busting her butt? Nope. Eso no es cierto. Mira, yo he trabajado toda mi vida. Volví a trabajar. Yo lo único que le pedí a ella era que pagara la renta del apartamento. Yo a ella no le he pedido ropa, yo a ella no le pedí zapatos, nada, solo el apartamento. Whose side are you on after hearing all of this, Tim? Neither. Uh, they just Veronica? need to be done. Jamie. But also neither because they need to not be together. Debbie? I believe Chris and I think Jamie's lying. Osama? I try to understand, but I understand nothing. Okay. <laughs> All right. What I hate about this whole situation is that I think they really wanted this. I think the idea of it was beautiful. I think that, that Chris really wanted this to work, and quite frankly, I think when she got to Columbia, it was just way more than she thought it was going to be. You know, I think it was uh, not the dream she thought it was going to be. And I wish Jamie nothing but the best, truly. But I wish more for my daughter. <laughs> at one point, Nicole discovered that Mahmoud had been chatting online with at least one other woman <laughs> in a way that even Mahmoud admitted wasn't appropriate. Take a look. Why you go to my phone? Like, I left my phone there while you check everything saying on my phone. You think it's okay? No, I don't think it's okay. No, I think but it's I think it's about as okay as you uh, having chats with girls. I never did. Oh, really? <laughs> what I did. How old are you? What are you doing? And did you make it back to your hotel okay last night? Okay, can uh, either of you explain what happened there? Mahmoud, do you want to go ahead? You first, ladies first. But Dali, but Dali, Mahmoud. <laughs> Why do they think it's funny? Not true, it's just like she sells some stuff and they were chatting for getting some stuff from here. And somehow I asked, how old are you? I don't, I know I shall don't ask that, but I did. 
What kind of TV what? do you like to watch? Oh, how old are you? Oh, um, what are you doing right now? Who asks somebody like that you're trying to buy some TVs from, like, you know, how old she is and what she's doing and you know, all this kind of stuff. Wait, so he was having a professional conversation with this female, and now then he's asking her what her favorite TV show is? It started professional, and then it slowly moved into this, like... Into this, like, what? I don't know what it was, right? Who was the woman? I don't know, some girl from China. I just said, ask you two questions, I said not. No, it was more than two questions, Mahmoud. You definitely crossed some, crossed some lines there. No, like, no, no, no. Yes, I, it was totally inappropriate, yeah. and you know it. What kind of TV shows do you like? Oh, I watch Egyptian TV and sometimes American TV. I don't get why they think this is so funny. Me parece que en este momento su actitud es demasiado irrespetuosa. En un tema como estos no deberían haber risas. I think he's embarrassed. That's why he's laughing. I don't know if, like, this sometimes culture, when we man. are <laughs> sad, sometimes when we sad or fight, we, we laugh. We cry, we laugh. We laugh. When we die, we but laugh. This is how we are as Egyptian. Even if we have some hard time, we just love to laugh. I think it's nervous laughter. I don't think they, they aim to hurt Nicole at all. I think it's nerves and kind of confusion. It's not malicious laughter. Um, Mahmoud, how would you feel and what would you do if Nicole was talking to another guy online? I'm not going to be happy, yeah. Let me tell you something. I think you're so scummy. Words from my wife. Mahmoud has everything in a man that I would never want. You're never gonna change. It's okay, it's not a big deal. Okay. It's, of course it's, it's not, because you're never gonna change. You're never gonna change. Uh, listen to me, I didn't ask you to change yourself. So don't, you don't need to ask me to change myself, because you're not my wife. You're not gonna change, and that's, that's fine. So Gabe, what would your advice to Nicole be? My advice to Nicole is to get a divorce. You can find somebody that has the same views as you. You see, it's a joke for them. There you go. Because you say what you know Mahmoud will, how you know Mahmoud? You tell him change, change what? First tell of all, me. how many times did Mahmoud ask for, ask for a divorce? If you keep asking for a divorce, then do it. He changed it for you or for Nicole? I think that he has qualities to change. I ask if... you now, reply my question. Don't ask me another oh, question. Nicole, you need to find somebody with an open mind that has the same beliefs as you, because you guys don't have the same beliefs. I feel so much compassion for a lot of my castmates. I, I feel like there's some real emotion to process. And in terms of Rishi and I right now, I'm feeling irritated and upset. Today, I had a lot coming at me from Rishi's mom. So you're only accepting proposals that are six months to a year within the age difference? I mean, that's just... I didn't think I was that disappointed, but this tidal wave of emotion just hit me. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Hearing his mom say over and over, like, she's too old for you, she's too old for you, she's too old for you. <laughs> what <laughs> you? Like, you said it. Like, it's not nice. You, you acknowledge it's not nice, yet you keep repeating it. Hey. Yo. I'm calling you right now because I got really emotional about something. The thing with your mom. She thinks that I'm too old, you know? And I'm like, F her, okay? Like, it's just so hurtful. Do you get that, how hurtful it is to me? 
and I would like you to convey that to her. And then if I ever hear her say that ever again, we will never speak again. Never, I'm, never. I'm like, she is not uh, like aware, like what she's like saying over there because she's like proper housewife. <laughs> she don't know how to talk like the people, their intention <laughs> don't want to hurt you. On behalf of her, I'm I'm feeling sorry. I don't know if this is a viable relationship because that's your mom. I'll be definitely in your side. But you're not even willing. So like, I feel like you should have had this conversation with them before. Like, please don't point out the fact that she's older than me. You know, could you just be kind? I definitely make them understand that what she did, this is not good that uh, you always like toning on her age. Trust me, and I'm, I'm literally very sad about it. And I'm on my knees. Like I can do for you anything. You are my other half. I just need some time. Like, let's talk about this later, okay? Yeah. Okay. All right. I want to go back now and see what originally caused the hostility between Johan and Talon. Let's take a look. It's good to see you. So am I going to get to meet you all? He's like not thrilled about the idea that I'm sitting down with, you know, someone that I had a relationship with in the past. I'm surprised you can even be with someone like that knowing you. As soon as I made the decision that I was moving here and I got off that plane, he was like a completely different person. Being around someone that's older and more mature, I think it's going to be huge for him. He's not as open. Me and Danielle's relationship started as a friendship. Obviously, it turned into a sexual thing. She's by far the most mature woman I've ever been with. I'm not sure if Johan's the right guy for Danielle. It's amigo. Sí. Yo veo a Tele llegando con pantalones rosados, camisa rosada. Es lo que parece un flamenco y con esa ropa. Ustedes. Eh, eh, relación, ¿es un problema? No hablo de mi relación con él contigo, porque no es apropiado. ¿Por qué? Porque es privado. ¿Por qué llora? No quiero llorar cada día porque tú, tú es inseguridad. So tú necesitas, mira, a yo es malo porque tú eres inseguridad. Bueno, ella dijo, se expresó feo de mí, alguna cosa. Yo no, no había escuchado eso. Otra cosa nueva. Yo soy un niño, como algo así. That's not saying that you're a child. It says that. Así, you... tú, tú hablas de tu esposo con tu amante, con tu ex pareja, que tú le dices a tu ex, mi esposo no es tan mente abierta como burlándote de mí. I wasn't making fun of you. I was asked a question about my relationship and I answered honestly. Te va a pesar esa decisión. Te va a pesar. Feo. So I think that. I don't even know how to respond to Después this. Después que like, tú decidiste to... traer a Taylor a esta relación, esta relación se volvió un Yo nunca te di mi aprobación que quería conocer a tu ex. Y eso te va a pesar mucho. Porque ya yo no te veo como una pareja que tengo que respetar, que tengo que darle amor. Bueno, cuando yo le dije eso a Daniel, yo le dije que de ahí en adelante la relación no iba a servir. Claro y, y pelado. I understand that Johan is upset about the situation. I understand that he's upset about Talon. I don't know what I can do to make that better because I can't change the past, so. Yo, ¿cómo te explico? Yo estoy con Daniel hasta que se cumpla el contrato de la casa. Cuando se termine el contrato, Ella coge su lado y yo el mío. Whoa. Oh, no, no, no. 